Hi, welcome to CSS Dev and UX and today we'll be creating this. This is a logo animation using CSS and SVG dash array dash offset properties and all, we also have some CSS animations for the supporting look. Okay, so let's just recreate this in a new pen from scratch. So here I have a new pen. I'm just going to import the SVG and the image. When I say import, I'm just going to copy paste. Okay. So let's just style the page first. I want the background color to be the main Coca-Cola red color and I think this is the color okay now we work on the image image with the class of Cola image and I want the width to be 600 pixels and I want the logo to appear on top of the image. So what I'll do is I'll keep the image as absolute position and then I'll try to center it. Okay. Now I also want the start button to be below and also on the center so we're gonna do the same for the start button okay so what we're doing now is we are setting the final look and then we're gonna go towards the animation part uh, starting from the logo so we're still not close enough uh, completed with the final look the SVG part is remaining so if I open up the SVG you will see it's made up of three parts part 1 part 2 and part 3 let's just show it and then inspect so that would make it more clear so I'll hover over the parts Just gonna collapse the SVG here and now start targeting the path which has CLS1 as class. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the fill color to white. So, now this is our final look. So, now everything we do from here should be towards the, towards the animation part. So, how does this animation work? So let's begin. Let me get rid of the fill color by reducing the opacity to zero. Let me add a stroke value, uh, one pixel. Oh, actually, stroke is a color, so let's just keep it white and stroke with one pixel. Yeah you see uh, the, uh, the outline of the logo now I'll add a property of stroke dash array I'll give it one pixel so what this does is it creates a space in the stroke of one pixel so if I give it a bigger number let's say 10 pixels you'll see the spacing will increase so this is around 10 pixels and there's a space of 10 pixels so you can play with this to create mostly svg based outline animations so if i go to inspect and since code pen is not that fast in showing us let me just target a path and then increase the dash array here you'll see it moving
okay now i'm going to add another property called stroke dash offset and keep it the same value so if i do the same value it disappears and now in our animation we're going to start it from the high value and go towards the smaller value so if i just reduce it and inspect you can see the logo being scripted out as if someone is writing the logo right so you get an idea that you need to start here and then in our animation try to manipulate the values let's start the animation work so for me to simulate the animation i have this button here and on click of the button i want to add a class on this section so to trigger the animation so how do i do that so i need javascript here so what do we want to do on click is we want to select this section and add a class of active okay so if i click on it hello and the class disappears click on it again hello and the class comes back so this is working okay so this is all of the js that we need we don't need anything else to for our simulation or for our demo so now what i want to do back in the css is i want to trigger the animation based on an active class so if the section has a class of active then i take this entire thing so this is SVG with the ID of logo and inside of it this is path of the class of class 1 and I want to trigger an animation. So I need to give it a name so let's just call it uh, type and I want to run it for 2 seconds and there is no delay but I want to run it once and uh, I want the animation mode as forward so when it stops it sh the state should be maintained as the end state and i want the effect to be ease in okay so these are all the parameters that can go inside an in animation property so remember when we were we were doing playing around with the dash offset property we're going to do the same here so it's going to be 460 to begin with and it's going to end at zero so let's just see if this works ah. you see this is working at least the outline animation is working so if I increase it to 3 seconds or let's say 5 seconds, you'll see it moving in a slow pace. Perfect. What we want to do in the logo is the outline and then when the outline is almost complete, we want to start filling this with the actual white color instead of just the outline. So how, how do we do that? So we have the original fill opacity as zero. We can use that as a starting point here. And then when it's ending, I want the fill opacity to be one. Okay, so but here it's starting from zero and going towards 100%, which is taking two seconds. So you see, the animation of the opacity also appearing so i want it to appear towards the end not towards the beginning so i'll add another frame in the keyframes of 75 percent and over there i'll keep the fill opacity zero so it's the fill opacity transforms from zero to one 
from 75% point of the animation. This is much better, but it's still thick. So we want to get rid of this stroke width. So what do we do is towards the end or at the 75% mark, we make it zero. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah. So it disappears and then comes back again. So not at the 75% mark. Okay. So just take it out from 75%, put it in 100%. Yes, so the outline is appearing perfect now. So at 0% we wanted the stroke dash array dash offset to be 460 and at 100% goes to 0. From the 75% point on the animation we want the opacity to increase to 1 and the stroke width to reduce to 0. So just with 3 frames of 0, 75 and 100 we can achieve this look. And now we can proceed to the next step. So this is the animation on the path. We can also add an animation on the overall SVG. So make it appear to make it appear like it's zooming in. Let's just do that. Animation called zoom. And this should last slightly longer than the outline animation. And I want a delay to be 0 0.8 seconds we'll get to the delay part in a minute and then I want the effect to be ease out okay so now that I've defined the animation properties let's just define the animation itself using again three frames so what do we want here is I want transform scale to begin at 80% of the original or 0.8 and go towards normal C which is 1 and this will take 2 seconds to complete 2.4 seconds to complete should happen once with an ease out effect. Perfect. So now you see the outline animation and the zoom animation, two animations working together in tandem. This makes it look neat. The last thing we can do is the animation on the glass. We want the glass to appear from bottom left. So we apply the same principles this time on the glass. transform translate translate can accept two properties on x and y axis so on x axis i want it to be 20 percent or 25 percent on the x axis negative 25 percent and on y axis we want positive 30 percent and towards the end of the animation this should go back to zero so it will end up in its original position which is at the center okay the animation delay that we added on the logo was to counter was to work in tandem with the glass animation so the glass animation lasts for one second when it's just about to end we do the uh, logo animation so which is why we added 0 0.8 seconds so now here one final improvement is that I want the glass to not appear in the beginning. So what I can do is reduce the opacity to zero and then work with the opacity in the animation. So from zero, when the animation end, keep this opacity as one. And let's just save this. Start again. Okay, this looks neat, but the animation is linear. So 
maybe it will look better if it's not linear maybe it starts off slowly and ends quickly so we can head over to the chrome inspect tools go towards the image and we see the animation properties here with an option to click on the effect and which it says open cubic base or editor this gives predefined option with also an option to edit it so if i want to edit it it can it shows a preview of how it's gonna run start uh, start fast and end slow so if i and this is a custom property so if i can just if i click the toggle start button i can see the effect or i can use one of the other predefined effects this one is fast out linear in so this is reverse of what i just did it's gonna be fast and end slowly so this is not bad maybe i can work with this have it this way so it comes in a little fast and then slows down and picks it up again i think this is proper so once you've created a custom property using this chrome editor you can just copy the property and where it says linear on the pen you can replace it and run it okay so in this example we did an animation uh, using the logo and the svg properties you can use the same principles and enhance it a bit you can have part of your logo animate first when the animation completes and reveal the rest of your logo or you can once one animation ends you can put up another animation here i add the glass as the first animation the logo as second animation uh, that way you can be creative and use your imagination i hope this video helped you to learn something new and if you like the video please like uh, share with your friends subscribe to my channel for more such videos on css development and user experience thank you